In this video, we'll look at whether zinc acetate is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte. So we have zinc, and then this right here is the acetate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. So for our definition for an electrolyte, it's a substance that dissolves in water or another polar solvent, and it produces ions. When we have these ions, that allows the solution to conduct electricity. So for zinc acetate, we have a metal, and then we have a group of non-metals. This is an ionic compound, so we'll have ions. But will it dissolve in water to dissociate so the ions will be able to conduct electricity? If you know your solubility rules, compounds with the acetate ion are very soluble. So when we put this in water, it's going to break apart completely. So the acetate ion, the whole thing, is 1 minus. And then the zinc, since there are two of these acetates, has to be 2 plus. We'll have the zinc ion, Zn2 plus, and then we'll have the acetate ion. And you'll see the acetate ion written a few different ways. This is the one I like. So we have two acetate ions. So we need to put a 2 as our coefficient here to show we have two acetate ions for every zinc ion. Let's put AQ after these since they are dissolved in water. So to answer our question whether zinc acetate is an electrolyte or a non-electrolyte, it does dissolve in water. It produces ions. Since it dissociates completely, it produces a lot of ions. And that means it will conduct electricity very well. Therefore, zinc acetate is an electrolyte, and we say it's a strong electrolyte. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.